Hey there guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla, if you're new here and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about my two week tummy tuck post-op recap. As of December 26th, I was two weeks out from my tummy tuck surgery. I think today's the 27th when I am filming this. Um, and I actually had my two week post-op appointment today, which was why I waited um, to film it today. Let's talk about everything that has happened over the last week or the last two weeks. If you didn't watch my one week post-op update, I will link it in the description below, but this is week two and things are looking up. As far as pain levels go, um, the pain is almost non-existent at this point. I'm on, no longer on any pain meds, no longer on any medication, and I'm starting to feel a little more normal in the head. Uh, my mood has definitely lifted up a lot since the last week, uh, and things have been a little less foggy since I am finally off of all of that medication. The swelling is still definitely there. Um, it just depends on the time of day and some days the swelling is little. Uh, some days I literally feel like I'm going to burst because the swelling is so bad. Uh, what was it? Christmas Eve or two days before Christmas we went to walk around our outlet mall and I barely made it like half an hour before walking around before feeling like I was literally going to burst um, from the swelling that was so bad. So walking is still kind of difficult. It depends on how long we're walking and if I'm holding on to something. Before, um, and in the first week, I couldn't walk at all. Like walking was just not happening. If we went out, I had to either ride one of those little scooters around the store, which is so embarrassing, <laughs> um, just because I'm terrible at driving them and I'm, you know, I just don't normally do that. Or I would literally have to use an old lady walker, which thankfully I don't have to do anymore. But if we walk anywhere for more than about 10 minutes, if we go to a store, I just kind of grab a shopping cart and hunch over that because I am still a little hunched over. Not too much now, not like I was in the beginning, um, but I still am a little hunched over. I can't stand up uh, perfectly straight yet. But when we're walking around, if I just hunch over a cart or like my kid's stroller or something, I'm usually pretty good at that point. I can actually walk for more than five minutes now. I can stand up for more than five minutes now. So that is um, definitely better. And just all of the overwhelming like first week stuff is just over. Um, my first week appointment, I got my drain out. I only had one drain. I know some people have more, some people have uh, none, but I only had one and I got that out on day eight. And that went pretty well, it didn't hurt. Uh, getting it out. I don't know if you guys want to know any of this or not. Let me know in the comments if you do whatever questions you have. I will answer them to the best of my ability. But as far as getting that drain out, um, he basically just gave me like a local anesthetic where the drain was and ripped it out. It felt so weird. Uh, the tube was like... The tube that was on the outside of me was like two feet long and the tube that was on the inside of me was about two feet long as well and when it went in it was like one tube on the outside and then at the end of it the part that was actually inside of my uh, abdomen split into two and it was really weird looking when it came up. It was really gross um, and that was just a really really weird experience and when they pull the drains out they don't stitch up the hole because you're still draining like a little bit they just kind of let it drain um it was really weird let me just say it was a very odd feeling uh there was just a hole <laughs> in my body it was just really weird and i um yeah it closed up on its own it closed up after a couple of days like once it was done draining it just kind of scabbed over and now it's um it's not even there anymore so it wasn't that big of a deal uh but for that first day or so it was really really awkward just like knowing um that that was that was there like after seeing the drain you're just like that was inside of my abdomen like that was crazy other than the drain the first week i got the pain pump taken out as well and those tubes were really long too and that was just as weird as the drain but they didn't need an anesthetic for that um they literally just pulled out it just felt weird, kind of like you were getting a noodle pulled out of your stomach or something. Like, I don't even know how to explain what that felt like, but it was really, really 
strange to say the least. I can actually eat a meal this week, which is nice. Last week I took like a bite not even a bite of something and I was done for the rest of the day. Um, I've pretty much been surviving off of coffee and these little like meal shakes, they're called Boost if you don't know what they are. They're basically like Ensure, they're like old people meal drinks um, or just for people who don't eat. I've pretty much been living off of those. Um, that's all I can really tolerate at the moment. Like nothing is making me sick but a lot of food I've noticed does make me swell really bad, um, whether it is low sodium or high sodium, no salt at all, just the fact that um, just eating. I've noticed just like liquid stuff has been tolerated better than solid stuff. If my body has to like do work to digest it, I have just, you swell up like crazy. And I'm kind of actually really swollen right now because I literally ate right before I filmed this video. And I feel like I should have not done that um, because I am a little swollen now. So I'm gonna show you the scar. I'm a little swollen, don't judge me. I had to eat, it was lunchtime. As far as sleeping goes, sleeping is still very hard. I actually had my little setup on the bed before I started filming. I made the bed today, so um, I sleep with a lot of pillows under me because I you do still have to sleep sitting up for the first couple of weeks and with your legs bent, which is really weird because I usually sleep on my stomach and I'm just, <sighs> sleeping's been hard. Um, I have actually been taking I started taking Benadryl and I, I took it like two or three nights. I took Benadryl at night when I couldn't sleep because on top of sleeping in a weird position, uh, at night seems to be when the itching is the worst. I woke up the other night and where my incisions are, just like the skin is dry and it's peeling. And if you've never had lipo, I will tell you it itches where you get lipo, I guess just under the skin. I don't know why it itches but it does and it itches an insane amount, okay? And the only way I was getting to sleep was Benadryl. I was itching so bad the other night. It woke me up out of my sleep and I had to go in the bathroom literally and just scratch my back because I was itching so bad. It was a nightmare and I didn't think I was gonna get back to sleep after that, but luckily I have a couple of things. Um, to take care of the itching so that's been a little bit better and I have figured out more on how to remedy it. What else can I tell you guys? I have gotten smaller this week I've noticed. The swelling um, some days is really really bad but even when I'm really swollen I have noticed just in general um, I have gotten smaller because I have been wearing a compression garment or a faja as some of you guys may know it and the one that I bought has like four rows of hooks. So as you get smaller, you know, you just move on to the next one. And I am all the way on the last one. At, at the beginning of the week, I was on the very first one. Um, so now I'm all the way on the last one. So it's like a good three or four inches smaller on my waist, I know. And it already feels a little too big. So I might actually need to get a smaller size as far as that goes. Um, I know it's really... Um, it's weird and it's hard to explain because you do still swell a lot, but I think just my body in general has gone down, so I guess the swelling really doesn't affect your size, if that makes sense. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm getting smaller, but I still swell. You need the compression, um, and as you get smaller, even though you're still swelling, you're going to need that tighter compression. You don't want to keep it too big because and then it won't work. I can't really think of anything else to tell you guys right now as far as week two goes. So I will go ahead and show you the scar. If you wanna see like the two week, where we're at as far as two weeks goes, um, I'll show you the scar. And then if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below because I'm trying to answer all of these questions as I get them in. And a lot of people ask me these things on like Facebook or Instagram or something and I'm trying to, get them all into one video so just leave them in the comments so i have one place to just answer every question um and i know what you guys want to know so here's my week two stomach um starting to get some abs <laughs> which is really weird because i like never had this line here um so that's kind of fun i'm not like flexing or anything i'm literally just standing here um let me see if i can suck it in 
Oh yeah, there we go. Look at those abs. I do still have stretch marks, which I don't really care because my stretch marks were all the way up here. Now they're down here. This two dots is the scar from the pain pump. Um, ugh. I am still a little hunched over as you can see. I do, I am swollen, but my body has gotten smaller. So the swelling really doesn't look as bad at the smaller I get. I did get a new belly button. Um, and this is the scar right here. It's really, you really can't see it that much on camera. You really can't see it that much on camera. So it's not even bad at all. I'm super swollen right now though. Like, look at that, it looks great. I'm pretty happy with it. The glue and stuff is starting to come off. The scabs are starting to come off and it's kind of just there. Um, it doesn't really bother me at this point anymore. But yeah, that's week two. But you guys, that's all that I have for you in today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below, you guys. And if you want to see the rest of the journey, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button right down there. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.